Hello dear subscribers and watchers, how are things on your side? Again, this is me Saigalia here from Computer Science for Software. And in this video, which is our continuation of our previous videos, and in this tutorial, we will learn two database operations, one is insertion and another is selection. Before I'm going to do this, I've already created the layout for my activity, which is this one. So I'm going to scroll down and make sure that you write the same thing as I have written in here, okay? Make sure that you pause the video and copy these tags into your Android Studios. XML in here we have got the username password and when I click on the add user so it's going to insert the username and password into my databases table I've created another button at the name of you all details which selects all data from our database and it shows to the user and I also show by name show by ID, and I also delete by name and many operations so now we must handle their listener so on on click which is our add user this button so I'm going to create this method inside my main activity so I've already created an instance of subscription to my channel which is a subclass of SQLite open helper always create the object of subscribe to my channel inside the own create method because it's the only method which is executed one in the entire operation of your application and in here I have initialized the edit name and edit password and I have set them to their respective edit text boxes so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this my channel which is an object of subscribe to my channel which is an instance of our class instance variable and I use this my channel to get a reference to my SQLite database okay if you call the my channel dot get in here if you want to insert and read from your database so call the get write table database for both operations and if you want to get the name call the get database name and if you want to do the operation only read which is select so use this reference but as of now I want to insert to my database so I use the get write table database and it returns me an instance of SQLite database so I have to store that inside the object of SQLite database SQLite database and in here I have to get the name and password from the edit name dot get text dot to a string and also a string pass dot edit password dot get text dot to a string and now I use the SQLite database to insert my data to my database table. SQLite database dot. In here you can also call the exec SQL. Okay, exec SQL and also the insert method to insert your data to your database table. But if you call the exec SQL, it insert your data to the database table. But you're not sure if those data are inserted successfully or not because it returns nothing. And if you want to make sure yourself that whether the data is inserted successfully or not, so call the insert method which returns you the ID of that row as a long variable first I'm going to use the exec SQL and then we will see how the insert works so I call the exec SQL which doesn't return anything so in here I have to specify the SQL query so what I'm going to do is uh, in here I have to write the SQL query insert into subscribe to much and table name okay values and make sure that you put semicolon in here if you use the exec SQL so in here make sure that you specify a single course and inside the single course use double course and in here use the concatenation and put the name because our first column is name again single quotes and inside single quotes double quotes and double plus and I pass the password okay I do not pass the ID because it is an auto increment the database will take care of that and inside the exec SQL I pass the SQL as a parameter and that's it and I have told you before that make sure that you put the database operations inside the try catch blocks in case if there is an error so your app must not get cool and I put the SQL database inside the try catch and in here I use the message if the exec SQL has inserted successfully so it's come down I use the message dot send message I pass the context as this and I say inserted successfully okay and that's it so let's save it and run what happens consider the emulator the constructor is get called so I provide my name I pass my password something like blah 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 when I click on the add user button it's going to call the add user 
and create an instance of GitRi table database. It returns a reference to my SQLite database, and I store it inside the SQLite database object. And I get the name and password, which is name and password, and I store them into the name and pass string variable. And I create another uh, SQL query, and I say that in Z into table name and pass the values as name and password. And I call the exec SQL, and I specify the SQL inside the exec SQL method as a parameter. If the operation was successful, so it's going to come down and say in that is successfully otherwise it returns the error into your locker on upgrade is called because we have specify our column since so the on credit is called so in here to the id i pass null okay because if, whenever you pass null to your database and that id was what or two increment and it will extend in the sequence if you don't want to pass null you must specify to which column you want to insert values and inside this bracket I say subscribe to my channel dot into the name column and into the password column I want to insert these two values let's run and see what happens so I pass username as computer sign and password as for self taught whenever I click on the add user it's going to call the add user method and create an instance of SQLite database which is in the form of both readable and writable and I store that reference inside the SQLite database and I get the edit name which is computer science and I get the password as the for self start and I have created a query as this one okay insert into table name set name into the name and password into the password and I call the exec SQL which returns nothing if the operation was successful so it's gonna come down and say insert successful let's see what happens amazing isn't it inserted successfully so let's see how to view all details let's now see how to call the insert method so I'm going to comment these out in here I say SQLite database and I call the insert method the first parameter you must specify your table name so I say subscribe to my channel table name and the second column is null column hack if you are not familiar with null column hack make sure that you watch our previous tutorials I have talked much about it and in here I rehearse myself again if you want to insert null values into your table you must specify which column you want to insert null values by using subscribe to my channel and I specify the column you want to insert now to support null or allow your app to insert null into your databases table and if you don't want to insert null values to your table to so pass null which means null will not be inserted in your table and the third column is the content value content value is nothing but it maps our data into key value pair so I create an object of content values content values equals to new content value and I call the content values dot put the first parameter is the key Make sure that you specify the column you want to insert the data. If you provide other key which doesn't exist inside your database table, so your app will crash and you won't be able to insert your data successfully. So make sure in here specify the column you want to insert data to it. I call subscribe to my channel into that name column I want to insert name. Okay, content values dot put subscribe to my channel and to the password column I want to insert path. And in here let's pass the content values object and the insert will returns you the id of that row whether it is run successfully or not so what i'm going to do is i'm going to store that inside a long variable and in here i say if l was greater than zero okay which means data inserted successfully otherwise message dot send message main activity dot this and i say unable to insert Okay. As a developer, I recommend you, you must call the insert method. It is much secure. Let's pass the ID of that row in here. If I say L, into row L. So, YouTube, subscribe. Let's click add. You can see inserted successfully, number of row is 3. Because we have inserted 3 values or 3 rows into the databases table. So, let's see how the view all details work I mean how to get those data and display to the user so if I go to the main activity and I click on the view all details let's create the method for that view all details so again I use the SQLite database SQLite database equals to my channel dot get readable database because I want to select data from my SQLite database
database. If you use the GetI table database, it also works. But as a good developer, you must interact with your database and the purpose you want to interact with it. So I want to read my data. So I call the get readable database and I put semicolon in here. And also do not forget that you must also close your database because if you do not close this you will waste a lot of resources. So in here to my previous YouTube which was in there. So I say finally. First you must check if it is initialized or not. SQLite database if it was not equals to null. So come and close my database. So again I have to put it inside try and catch. If the operating system wasn't able to close your database and I put the close method inside the try catch and in here if I check that also if SQLite database was not equals to null so come and close that again I have to specify the try catch exception e e.print stack trace and I put the SQLite inside there 